my name is Pankaj Dube and in this video we are going to talk about compatibility testing and we will see that how to perform the compatibility testing on a Chrome development tool and uh, how to use the cloud based services to perform your compatibility testing uh, with Sasa Labs and Browser Stack. So first uh, let's understand what is compatibility testing. So compatibility testing means checking the application's compatibility on all your target devices and browsers is called compatibility testing. So the target devices uh, may be uh, on different different operating systems and on different different browsers and their versions on different devices and hardwares. And uh, how you will decide that what are the platforms that you need to cover as part of the compatibility testing because market is huge and devices are coming day by day. So in that case how you will be deciding that what are the devices that you should cover as part of the compatibility testing for your application. So uh, this is the list that which is given by the browserstack.com and for any starting up business where the unique visitors are 15,000 a month in that case you should cover at least these devices to perform the compatibility testing if, it, if you're talking about the devices only and apart from this also you should include the different different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, IE and uh, Safari browsers. You should test your compatibility testing on the latest version of the browser and also you should include the two older versions of the browser which is lower than the latest one. So this is how you should uh, get an idea that what are the devices and projects that you should cover as part of the compatibility testing. And second thing is that also you can get a list of the devices of the target devices from your SEO or digital marketing team. So this is how you will be deciding that what are the platforms uh, available and wh what is the target which you need to cover as part of the compatibility testing. And for any growing business where the unique visitors are 15,000 to 3 lakhs per uh, month, so where you will be covering all these devices. And for any enterprise, you can cover all uh, your uh, target, you, you can target these devices to perform the compatibility testing. So what is the challenge here? The challenge is that how to manage the required platforms on your local because uh, you it, it will be really very uh, cost uh, costing thing to uh, buy these such devices and keep it on a local. So let's see the solutions. What are the solutions available? The solution is the one is that invest money and purchase the required devices. Pros is that it's good to set up the test lab with all required devices and you will be testing your app on real devices. So this is really a huge benefit that you'll be getting if you're investing money and setting up your own test lab with all your required devices on your own. Uh, the cons is that devices list are growing day by day. So it's it will be very costy, uh, costing thing to uh, buy such devices and manage it. And uh, again, the cost is huge and device list are growing day by day. Solution two is that get a subscription of cloud based services and the two main service providers that we have is browser stack and saucy labs process that you will get almost all new service uh, all new devices to test and you can integrate your automation code with this. So you can achieve the continuous integration if you're using the subscription of uh, any cloud based services Cons is that it's huge subs it has a huge subscription fee. So, but still uh, it's uh, most economical if you're talking about mid-sized business and even enterprises are using this service too. And uh, you can uh, you can almost get all sort of devices there, all sort of browsers there. So uh, you will not have to worry about how to uh, test your applications responsiveness on different different operating systems on different different browsers and their versions and on different different devices. So it's a one uh, stop solution you can say. So at a glance you can see the Saucy Labs and what are the features that they give. The features are speed your development because as soon as the development team will deploy any feature your code will be automatically triggered and your testing uh, test cases will be automatically executed and the reports will be sent to everyone. Get results faster you can see the results as soon as you execute your test cases and also it will give you a video so wherein you can check that where the issue uh, were wh uh, why your test case failed. Test with confidence in the cloud and uh, enterprise grid security so it encrypts the code which travels through the network on their uh, site to execute leverage existing tools you can integrate all other existing tools too with the source labs and optimize for continuous integration and continuous deployment at a glance browser stack so it gives you some features like instant access mobile browsers local server testing live debugging sec secure cloud setup unlimited testing time language and continuous integration super fast test runs 
Solution 3 is use Google Chrome Developer Mode which is the most economical and handy and uh, it gives you a basic level of confidence about your application's responsiveness on different different screen sizes. So this is basically intended for only the developers who can use uh, while, uh, while coding their thing they can check that how it is how is the responsiveness of their web application but also you can use it for testing so get to get a basic level of uh, idea that how the application is behaving on different different screen sizes. The pros is that it's free and handy it gives you a basic level of confidence about your application but the cons is that it's not 100% reliable and at least you should double check on any at least one or two device that how how is the result how the uh, how different or actual is the result if you talk about the chrome developer tool and real device you can't integrate your automation code with it to achieve the continuous integration is the bigger cons but if you're only one uh, if you're individual or a uh, group of two or three people so instead of investing in uh, any other thing if you are uh, if you have very tight budget you can use the chrome developer tool to perform the compatibility testing so you can see uh, the chrome developer tool in a glance so what you have to do you have to launch the chrome browser press f12 to launch this uh, development tool and then you'll have to click on this thing which is toggle bar uh, toggle uh, window and once you click on this you will get a window and you can select your screen or device from this drop down and uh, visit their application uh, website and you can check the responsiveness of their website here so here i have opened the browser stack so you what you can uh, you can get a basic sense that how it looks like and how it works so what you have to do is you have to get a subscription of browser stack you have to go in more and then responsive and once you open the page you will have to enter the url here so for example i have entered yahoo.com and click on generate so these are some devices which is available here and you can click on any of this and you can see that how the application we have and how is the responsiveness of your application on different different devices so first it will give you the i mean uh, the first page will be displayed here but if you want to get a more sense then you can click on live interacting testing and then you can interact with your application here as you uh, do with any ordinary device and you can check it and for chrome development tool what you have to do is you have to go to chrome or uh, google chrome press f12 to launch this tool this window development tool and click on this click on here and then select your device from here visit any website and check the responsiveness of your application so this is how you will be testing your application uh, applications compatibility and you can get a basic sense at how it works and that's all in this video thanks for watching